So hello everyone, my name is Alex Valverde. I'm a, an associate professor in anesthesia at the Ontario Veterinary College at the University of Guelph in Canada. I'm here to talk about a special topic of my own interest, which is the use of diphenhydramine in dogs that have mast cell tumors. And the use of diphenhydramine has often been indicated in those dogs because of the release or high concentrations of uh, circulating histamine in these dogs. This drug, it's used because we conceive the effects of histamine as adverse effects, mostly vasodilation that leads to hypotension. A lot of anaphylactic or anaphylactoid reactions are related to the effects of histamine as one of the substances that might be implicated there. So the premise of using diphenhydramine in dogs that may undergo or are suffering from mast cell tumors is to prevent the effects of histamine and prevent adverse effects. So using diphenhydramine theoretically may prevent those effects and protect the animal from episodes of hypotension during, for example, general anesthesia in an animal that is going to have an excision of a tumor. Having said all of this, is I have not used diphenhydramine in patients that have mast cell tumors. I have also used it in patients that have mast cell tumors, and I have not seen a difference in that there's a benefit of using diphenhydramine. So we conducted a study here and basically looked into does this drug have a benefit or does it really make a difference if it's used preemptively in animals that are going to have a resection or excision of a mast cell tumor. In brief, our study showed that there was no difference in dogs that had mast cell tumors, whether you use diphenhydramine or a placebo saline, given before the beginning of the surgery, right after induction to those animals. This is off topic, but there's controversy on this. As reluctance, misinformation, like some of this, things that I mentioned here, of course, you're going to have people that are like, oh, I don't know. We're all guilty of that. I don't know everything about everything. So I may not be aware of certain things. And I repeat and do what I was told to do. And then it becomes my, my way of doing things. And I'm convinced that that's the correct way. So I think that's what I'm saying. So everybody changes by their own experience, not by um, being told to do it. Well, we're told to do it. And then it's hard to change that.